So um, I've covered, I think I've covered one or two members of this genus before, fungi-wise. And uh, it's, it's just the end of June here and some of our first lovely edibles have been coming up. Um, and this is something that I think in the UK is a bit underrated. Um, I'm going to pull out a little of the grass because it is actually quite difficult to, to have a look at what we need to on this. And, uh, and while I think they're quite uh, recognisable from a distance, I think it's important um, to cover all of the features really well on this because this is Amanita and Amanita are the same genus as uh, some quite delicious things. We don't get in the UK Caesars, but Caesars are uh, notoriously one of the the nicest edibles. Um, also things like the blusher, which I eat. Um, I really enjoy it. Again, it, it does need you to pay a little bit of attention while you're still learning fungi and and uh, and make sure that you've ticked off all of the ID features for it. Um, and this one is called Amanita fulva. And Amanita fulva is one of the grisettes, section vaginate, and this section of an Amanita are a really, really nice safe one. There's nothing in this section that can hurt you. Um, and some of them are really nice edibles. Um, so I'm going to go through how you can differentiate this from harmful Amanitas because the other things that are in this, this genus are things like Amanita phylloides and um, Amanita virosa which are the death cap and the destroying angel and like the name suggests uh, they are very very poisonous and you really wouldn't want to ingest those by accident. So I'm going to, the first thing that you need to know is that when we're uh, looking at Amanita particularly, when we're looking at all fungi, but particularly with Amanita, um, we want to excavate the whole base of the stipe. So rather than just pulling them up or cutting them from the ground, we're going to take, oh, take my knife and just stick it in and lever up. Now this is being a little bit awkward, so I'm going to show you what I'm looking at as well in case the whole thing doesn't come intact. Um, oh, it really wants to leave its base it's quite deeply, deeply in the ground there. There we go. I think we've got it out with enough to really have a good look at the features of this, this lovely fungus. So, what I wanted to show you is that there's a combination of things here that make this a safe Amanita. So one of the, the main obvious characteristics is this, we call it a saccate or sac-like vulva. Um, and all that means is that on the bottom of the stipe here, I'll try and separate it so you can see, is this wobbly like an egg. It's come off on one side, but you can see it there see it there and essentially this was the the universal veil so the the veil that covered the whole mushroom when it was a baby in the ground um, and I'll be able to show you one that is still popping out in a moment um, and it it stays on the bottom of the the mushroom in these cases in in vaginate um, like a little wobbly egg attached to the bottom of the the stipe of the mushroom now death caps and and that section do this as well they have this wobbly egg on the bottom um, the thing that differentiates most obviously I mean there are lots of things that differentiate but the most obvious thing is that in the dangerous section in the the death cap section there will also be a ring on the stipe of the mushroom uh, some people call it a skirt it just means all the way around the stem there'll be a ring uh, about halfway closer to the top than halfway up but yeah um these don't have them so vaginate the the grisettes don't have a ring on the stipe so you're looking for a combination of no ring and this vulva on the bottom and the other thing that this section has that is nice and easy to recognize from a distance is what we call a striate margin and all that means is it's got little lines little kind of grooves coming up from the edge of the cap um, but not all the way to the middle, just from the edge. They've also 
in this case. So Amanita fulva is this lovely kind of brownish orange colour. Um, and it has a relatively naked, bare, whitish stipe. So the the other thing that looks a little bit like this, but is also edible, um, so it's not really a problem, is Amanita crocea, or crocea, I'm not even sure, um, which is more orange than this. And it has a really textured orange, kind of snake skinny pattern on the stipe. Um, it also has a, a more orangey colour on the, the vulva as well. Um, what I'm going to show you just before I finish this, so here's another one um, that I wanted to show you the, the vulva sac on so you can see it while it's in the ground. So you see that little, like a wobbly egg on the base of the mushroom. Doesn't like focusing because there's all this grass. But that's what it looks like in the ground. To show you what I mean about it being something that covers the whole mushroom while it's young, I want to show you this gorgeous little baby, like a dragon egg, that's just coming up. So this has just burst through this, this universal veil, this covering that covers all of the mushroom while it's in the ground. And that will grow its stem upwards and open out like the other two were. So hopefully you'll be comfortable differentiating between uh, section vaginate, the, the grisettes, and section phylloidae, which is the death caps and, and destroying angels. Um, just so that you know, if you were to pick this and you didn't know about the vulva sac in the ground, oh, that one's very helpfully come out intact, um, or mostly, often it will leave that vulva sac in the ground when you pull it up. So if you want to be certain that you've got uh, that you've got all the identifying features for a mushroom, you really must kind of carefully look around the base before you pull it up. Uh, do press like and subscribe. Um, if you want to uh, contribute to the work that I do on here, do feel free to, to tip me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Um, and if you're local to me in Sussex, do remember that I'm, I'm running courses again now, so it'd be lovely to see you if you're around here. Enjoy your foraging.